Hi, welcome to our brand new class called Bands, Balls, and Balance. The three B's is what I like to call it. So you'll be required to have a band with handles. You have these nice handles. They come in different colors and different sizes. What I like to call the infinity band because it's a continuous loop. And then a smaller ball that fits in your hand so you can squeeze it, it's inflatable. And these three items we're gonna be selling here or you can go to your sporting goods store and purchase it on your own. We also ask that you have a beverage of your choice. Water is the most preferable and refreshing drink that there is. And then a sturdy chair, a very sturdy chair, your kitchen chair, your dining room chair, whatever works for you. I'm just gonna, just gonna step to the side and then place my ball and my band on the floor. Now be careful because that ball tends to roll around and I don't want you to trip on it. And I'm just gonna take my infinity band and I'm gonna hold it, I mean, my band with the handles and just hold it or put it in the back for now just so um, it's out of my way while we, we warm up. You know, you should always consult with your physician before engaging in any physical activity program. By participating in this online exercise class, you assume all dangers, hazards, and risks of such participation. The exercises demonstrated by the instructors in this online class are physically demanding. And if you are unable to safely perform these exercises, please modify them for your own safety or choose a different set of exercises. Let's just start with a right march here, sitting up nice and tall, those abs are engaged, and let's march it right, right. We're just gonna warm things up, make it quick. You can always do your warm up standing as well. Right, right. Good, now give me an ankle touch, opposite hand to ankle. Pull that belly button in, make sure you're sitting up nice and tall, right? It's right and left, right and left. Opening up those hip flexors here, here four, and three, and two. Nice job, just stay with that right march, right and right. Arms are optional, but if you use those arms, really swing them to wake up that upper body. Now, stay with your march and give me those shoulders up and down. Inhale and exhale, it's up and down. Give me four more, mm, and down. Exhale, two more. Last time, good, give me a big inhale up. Exhale, open those arms, bring them all the way around. One more time, bring it up. And exhale, lift up that right foot, rotate that right ankle, or you could always keep that toe on the floor and rotate your ankle, or go ahead and stand up. Abs are in, rotate that ankle. Circle that ankle the other way. Nice job, put that right foot down, left knee up, rotate that ankle. Shoulders are back and down. If you're standing, you can always stay seated you can always keep that toe on the floor and then go ahead and rotate that ankle the other way. Very nice. Rotate your wrist, put that left heel down. Just want to wake everything up a little bit. Rotate those wrists the other way. And nice job. Give me one more inhale, arms up, lengthening the sides and exhale. Good. And grab onto the back of that chair, squeeze those shoulder blades together, inhale. Exhale, push that chin to where the ceiling and the wall meet. Opening up the chest, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Exhale, and go ahead and relax. Let's start off by grabbing the band with the handles. We're gonna start with the bands with the handles. And, no, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with that infinity band. So step to the side. Grab your infinity band. Watch that the ball does not travel all the way around or move around. And we'll start seated so that you can safely put that band up above the knees. Okay? I have them up above the knees. Now I'm going to stand up pushing through your heels. Pull my shorts up. Those legs are hip width apart. We're just going to simply start with a few squats. 
So you're going to make sure those hips push back all the way goes into the heels and tap that chair. Push those hips back. Now, you want to keep that tension on the band. Keep your chest lifted. Pull that belly button in all the weights in the heels. Notice I'm sticking my butt back, then I'm bending my knees, and my knees are just above my ankles. My chest is lifted. I'm not doing this. This is not a squat, kids, although sometimes people like to do that because it's easier. But you're only doing, <clears throat> you're not working anything with your legs. And that's what we want to work, to get up out of that chair, to get in and out of our car, Pull that belly button in. Let's do a few more. Anybody counting? I forgot. Keep those abs in, sit back. Nice job, give me two more. We'll do two more here. Sitting back, good. Now, option, you can stand behind your chair or you can stand in front of your chair. We're gonna be traveling right and left. We're gonna go right first. Now, I'm staying in my squat. Abs are in, my chest is lifted, I'm not here, remember that. And I'm gonna to step to the right. Keep it low. Two. Now, step to the left. Step. Open up those legs. Keep that band nice and tight. One more here, step to the right. Four. Three. Two. And step to the left, you got it, four. Three, two, good, step right, it's four. Three, two, step left, four. Stay in that, stay into that. And right, four, three, say, see how I'm staying into my squat? And left, four, three, two, Last time, right and left. Last set here, guys. Stay with me. I know you're feeling it right in that body, in that booty. And last time, left for four, three, two. Woo! Hold it here. Hold it here. Keep those abs nice and tight. Push those knees out. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Do what you can. We got eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold and squeeze, feel the love, five, four, three, two, one, and come up slowly. Oh, nice job. Whew. Shake out that booty. Now, option, stand to the right side of your chair so you have the chair to hold on to. Or you can stand behind your chair, whatever works for you. I'm gonna stand to the side at least so you can see me. Shoulders back, just above the hips. Hips just above the knees and the ankles. Belly button in. Focus on something still. Here's our band and balance. Right side leg lift. Now, <clears throat> if you can, don't bring that right foot to the floor. If you need to though, you can bring it down, okay? Make sure that knee and toe is facing me. This is our sample little class of bands, balls, and balance. Give me four more. Here's four, three, two, last one, just hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, feel the love, and lower, shake it out. Now that left leg was doing your isometric hold, really giving you good strength here. Now, we're gonna stand on that right leg, Left leg is going to do some work. Lifting and lowering. Abs in, belly button, nice and tight, shoulders back. Here we go. Lift and lower. Now, I don't want that toe like this. I want the toe and the knee facing me. So you work those abductors and your adductors. Nice work. Keep lifting and lowering, standing nice and tall. Focus on something still. Here's two more. Last time, hold it here for five, four, three, two, you got it, one, and lower, ooh, shake it out. Nice work, now we're gonna lower those bands to just above the ankle. Okay, I wanna keep it 
so that you have the tension on the band. Now, this is where I said if you need to stand behind your chair or next to your chair, go ahead and do so. I am going to shift my weight once again to that left side. Standing on that left leg, my right foot is flexed, tiny lift, tiny extension of that right leg. Ooh, ooh, that face, lift. Now stand up nice and tall. If you need to hold on to that chair, go ahead and do so. You should feel it in the hamstrings and that butt cheek. Stand tall, I don't want you doing this, okay? Here's five, four, three, two, hold it up there, give me tiny little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold and squeeze, maybe those arms up. Five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Woo. Shake it out. Good. Isometric hold on that left leg. I'm going over to the left side of my chair. Now, if you are moving around with the band, please be very careful with the band around your legs. Alrighty. So, once again, standing tall, abs in. Lift that left leg. Shifting the weight to that right leg. Lift and lower. Good. Focusing on something still. Pull that belly button in. You could always tap that floor. Keep that right knee slightly bent. Pull that belly button in. Maybe more of that balance challenge is here. With those arms up. If that doesn't work for you, don't worry. Just keep it here or hold on. Good. Give me two more here. Here's two. Last one, hold it back there. Tiny little pulse. Eight, seven, flex that foot. Three, two, one. Hold and squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! And lower. Nice job. Go ahead and have a seat. Let's take that band off your feet. Put it underneath your chair. And we're going to grab onto our band with the handles. Now just be mindful, these come in different tensions. We are selling the green bands. These are spry bands. They're really good bands. So <clears throat> go ahead and stand up. We're going to move on to some shoulder work. So I've got it right underneath my tush. Little tush. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. Put, sit all the way down. Now, when I, you're gonna bring those bands behind your arms, sitting up nice and tall. Option, one arm at a time. Extend that right arm, good. Extend and exhale. Don't grab on so tight. I want you to get that nice extension. Here's four. Now, if this is too easy for you, two, last one, good. Now we're gonna move on to that left arm. If it's too easy, let me show you an option. You can wrap, hold on to the handle, grab on next to the handle with that band. See how my, I have the green band kind of wrapped around there? Left arm, extend, good, exhale, exhale. Now, I want you to keep that shoulder, shoulder height, that elbow, shoulder height. So don't bring it all the way down here. Here's four and three, and two. Nice job. Now we're gonna do four more. You decide if you're gonna do single arms, just the right arm, so you'll do right arm for two, and left arm for two. Let me grab on here, that's how you do it. Okay, up, two, down, two. Keep the elbow shoulder height. Up, two, down, two. Now, if you're doing right arm, now switch to left. Up, two, down. Exhale here, up, up. Now bring it down super slow for four, three, two. Nice, and lower. Good, roll those shoulders back and down. All right, so go ahead and stand up. And now you're gonna hold the handle in the right hand. I've also got it in my left hand, but we're going to work on that right tricep here. So go ahead, grab up onto the band, and I want you to hold your left hand right here. 
between, in the middle of your chest, right at your sternum. Now I'm turning sideways so you can see me. I'm bringing my right elbow back a little bit. My palm is facing my outer body, okay? Relax that shoulder, just go ahead, extend, and bend the elbow. Exhale. I want you to think about this as a little tricep kickback, okay? Keep that elbow a little bit past your body, straighten that elbow. Now you are completely in charge of your resistance. I have very little band that I'm holding on to, right? And I'm giving myself more resistance. We've got four more. If you want to, you know, this is gonna be a lot easier. You can see there's some slack, but I like to have some tension. And this will work those underarm jiggle girls and guys. The guys don't have to worry. One more here, one more. Hold it back there, tiny pulse for eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four. Hold it back there. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend the elbow, bring it in. Four, three, two, and time. Nice job. Roll that shoulder back and down. Good. Switch. Left hand, handle. I'm going to take that right hand, grab up onto the band. Hold that right hand right here at my chest. Now the palm, my left palm is facing my left outer body. I'm bringing that elbow back just a little bit. Go ahead and extend and bend. Exhale, extend, relax that shoulder. Extend and bend. Good, now be mindful. I want you to keep this wrist straight. I want you to straighten that elbow so you can feel it right back here. Good, give me four more here, guys. You got it, here's three, and two, and last time, tiny pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, extend, five, four, three, two, one, release, four, three, two, one, oh, nice job. Roll the shoulders back and down. Now we're moving on, opposing muscle groups, let's do those biceps. I'm gonna show you several options, guys. First option, both feet on the band. You widen your stance, you make it a little more challenging. Elbows are tucked in. Now watch that you're not doing this with the wrist. You wanna keep that wrist straight. Okay, this is the most challenging. You wanna keep those elbows in, knees soft, shoulders back, and curl and lower. Exhale and curl. Now this may be too much. And if it is, I get it, no worries. Let me show you another option. You can stay here. You can bring those legs together and maybe just the right arm and then just the left arm. When you bring it up there, make sure you're squeezing that bicep. And then maybe this is a little much and that's okay, okay? So we'll step one foot off the band and we'll just focus on that right arm. Extend and bend. Now. I'm gonna throw in a little something more, more challenging. The closer that foot is to the handle, the more challenging it's gonna be. Exhale at the top. We'll just do four more here. Here's four. Squeeze that bicep, and three. Standing up nice and tall, and two. Last one here, guys, stay with me. And slowly release, good. Now, I'm gonna step off. My left foot's gonna step on. Again, you can just have it here, that works. Or if you want more resistance, you're gonna shorten that distance, right? Standing up nice and tall, and squeeze the bicep. And squeeze your bicep. Now, it's very important that you keep those wrists in alignment with the shoulder. Exhale. Exhale and squeeze. We've got four more, then we're moving on. Four, and three. Are we feeling love? Two more. And last time, exhale, and slowly lower. Oh, how fabulous is that? Go ahead, step off, shake out those arms. Go ahead and place that band behind your chair. You can put it under your chair. Just watch that you're not gonna trip. 
I'm going to do one more thing for our chest that I forgot to do with our infinity band. So go ahead. Oh, and our back. We're going to use this for our back. You're going to put the infinity band on those forearms. Now, I'm not here, right? My elbows are away from my chest. Palms are facing each other. Open. Exhale. Now I want you to squeeze those shoulder blades together behind you. Keep those knees nice and tight. Pull that belly button in. You've got it, guys. Four and three. Now if you need to take that break, take it any time. Last time. Now we're going to hold it out there just a teeny bit. Give me eight tiny pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold and squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. And release. Oh boy, does that feel good. Let's bring that shoulder across your chest, that arm. Ooh. Working that upper body pretty nicely, don't you think? Yes, Susan. Go ahead and release that. Left arm across your chest. Relax that shoulder. All right. Are you ready to have a ball, kids? Go ahead, get your drinks and grab your ball. There we go. Look how cute that is. I love it. So we just worked on the upper body. Let's go back to the lower body, add a little more instability for you, more core work, more balance. Okay, so you can stand behind your chair if you need to, or stand to the right side of the chair. I'm going to place the ball between my legs, okay? Now, I don't want you to have it down by your knees. No, this is no. Have it up a little bit above those knees, standing up nice and tall. All right, my toes are facing forward, my abs are in. Squeeze those knees, push those hips back, and sit and stand. Good, now we're doing this a little differently. Watch that you're not doing this, okay? We don't wanna do that. We wanna keep those hips back, bend, chest is lifted, and stand. Back, bend, and stand. We've got four more and stand. Keep that belly button in, back, bend, and stand. Back, bend, stand. Last one, back, bend, stand. Come up on the toes, Woo! Down on the heels. Push those hips back, bend, chest lifted, stand, up on those toes, squeezing that ball, down. Push those hips back, bend, stand, up on the toes. We've got four more kids. Hips back, bend, stand, on those toes. Pull that belly button in, it'll help with that core. Push those hips back, bend, up on the toes. Focus on something still when you come on those toes. Back, bend, on the toes, one more. Back, bend, on the toes, now hold it here. Maybe you can't bring those arms up, that's okay. Maybe you can only do it here, that's okay too. Or if you need to hold on to that chair, that works. Whatever works for you. Now, stay on those toes, keep squeezing that ball. Pull that belly button in. Now I'm gonna ask you to turn your head, just your head, to look over that right shoulder. Very carefully, staying on those toes. It's quite the challenge, keep squeezing that ball. Here's five, relax your shoulders. Four, maybe you're here. Three, two, one. Bring your head back center, please. Now come back down onto those toes. Whew. Shoulders back and down. Go ahead and tap your toes. Yeah, no, we gotta do it on the other side, right? We don't wanna be uneven or unbalanced. Alrighty, abs in, shoulders back, parallel to the floor, chin is, and I want you to focus on something still. Let's push those hips back, bend those knees. Stand up tall, come up on the tippy toes. Ooh, good. 
Maybe have those arms here. Maybe bring them up. The longer the levers, the more challenging. Focus on something still. Keep that belly button in and don't hold your breath. Now, just turn that head to look over that left shoulder. Breathing into that, relax those shoulders. We're gonna hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Good, bring that head back center. Come back down on those heels and let's tap your toes. Now here comes the easy part. Hands on your hips, belly button in. Go ahead, squeeze the ball and release. Squeeze and release. Squeeze, release, squeeze, exhale. Keep standing up nice and tall, that core's engaged. Squeeze, release. Here's four. Think about, you wanna pop that ball. You're squeezing those legs so tight. And two more, squeeze, release. Hold it in there, give me tiny pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, give me more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, eight more, come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last set, it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold and squeeze, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, whoo, feel the love in those inner thighs. Hard body part to get to, especially now in summertime. We want to have those nice shapely legs. All right, one more exercise and then we'll be done. I promise. Put that ball between your forearms. See how I am? Again, the ball's not here on my chest. My elbows are away from the ball. I mean, from my chest, standing up nice and tall. Now I want you to squeeze those elbows together. Squeeze and release. Maybe. You want to have one foot in front of the other. If that's just too much for you because you don't have the chair to hold on to, that's okay. You could just stand with those legs hip width apart. Squeeze those elbows in. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Okay, now let's switch those toes, that foot in front. Squeeze and release. Heel the toe, heel the toe. We're not moving, we're not walking, but we still have a tandem stance, which requires more of that core, more of your balance, and we're still working that chest. Give me four more, here's four, and release. Three, release, two. Give me one more, hold it in there, tiny pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold and squeeze it up and down, come on. Three, and down. Two more, you got this, guys. Last one, last one. Woo! Oh, man, feel the love. Shoulders back and down. Feels yummy, I just love it. Alrighty, let's just open up that chest, grab that ball, shoulders back and down, inhale here. Lift up those arms, chest pushes forward, chin to where the ceiling and the wall meet. Opening up that chest, that should feel great because we were really squeezing and working those pectoralis muscles. Oh, love it. You guys are doing great. Okay, we're going to offer this class twice a week, by the way, via Zoom. Bands, balls, and balance. Okay, so let's just go ahead, have a seat, get your drink. We'll put that ball off to the side. Watch it's not rolling around. Let's just stretch it all out. So we're gonna heel toe those legs out, sitting tall, stretch out those inner thighs, breathing into that. Those hands are right on those inner thighs. Those inner thighs were working. And heel toe, bring those legs together. One more time, heel toe out, sitting up tall. Push those legs away, and then heel toe. Good. Let's touch that ankle to open up that leg. Those hip flexors. All right, lift that right knee, open and close. It's like a swinging gait. Those hips face forward. Good, give me one more. Hold it here, rotate the ankle. 
Other way, abs in, sit tall, don't lean forward and slouch. Right leg crosses above left ankle or left thigh. Flex that foot, pull the belly button in, inhaling here. And let me tell you kids, no matter how often I do this stretch, I feel it in my abductors and my hips, and it's just a great stretch, just a great stretch. Keep the head above your heart. Keep breathing into that, pull those abs in, inhale here. Exhale and lower. I cross that right leg, lift that left leg. Open and close, belly buttons in. Give me two more. Now you're not moving those hips. Okay, last one, hold it out there. Sitting tall, feel the stretch. Bring it back in, rotate that left ankle. Rotate your ankle the other way. Fabulous, take that left leg, cross it above the right ankle or above the right knee, whatever works for you. Inhale here, bring those arms up. Exhale, reach those hands forward. Relax those shoulders. Keep breathing into that. Of course, you can always do these stretch a little bit longer than I'm doing right now. Inhale, use those abs and lift. Exhale and lower. Uncross that leg. Those legs are hip width apart. We're gonna do one more little stretch here. Inhale, bring those arms up. Exhale, go ahead, sweep those arms back, but keep that head above your heart. Inhale, reach those arms forward, push through your heels without using assistance from the chair. Come all the way up, pushing into the heels, abs in. Come up onto those tippy toes, palms come together, and exhale and slowly lower. Stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. You guys are great. Come back down onto those heels. And I wanna thank you all for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe to our LWCA Fitness YouTube channel. And also feel free to leave comments and any suggestions you have, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much once again and have a great day.